Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a special, special kind of show uh, called Demo Disc Theater. And basically, I've been I've been collecting a bit of uh, demo discs for uh, specifically the PlayStation One, um, and I haven't really got to play through them yet, you know. So I thought it'd be really cool to kind of take a disc, uh, talk about it, play through it, play through all the demos on it and stuff, because they're they're interesting little time capsules um, of that era. Uh, so on the first episode today, this is actually kind of special because it's also an unboxing of some sort. What we got here? <laughs> pizza powered PlayStation giveaway, Pizza Hut edition. So yeah, <laughs> this one has been unopened. Came out in 1998. I bet it's still gonna smell like Pizza Hut. Uh, I'm guessing this was uh, given out or given away at Pizza Hut, like whenever you ordered a pizza and stuff. I remember they did that with toys uh, and movies and stuff sometimes. But uh, yeah, this is unopened. It's kind of exciting. All right, put that right there. Take a big old whiff. Mmm, that's 1998, baby. All right, so what do we have here? What do we have here on it? Oh yeah, demo disc CD. So what we got on here today? We got Crash Bandicoot Warped, Medieval, Metal Gear Solid. I, I think I've heard of that game. Uh, Gran Turismo. And Tomb Raider 3. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I wonder if I can still get a pizza powered PlayStation. <laughs> pizza Hut. Oh, it's struck at midnight. Oh shit, the pizza's alive. What's going on? Oh shit. Hey, welcome to the Pizza Powered PlayStation Giveaway. You grab that scratch and win card that comes with this CD and scratch yeah. away because you can win some very cool stuff, including PlayStation game consoles, video this games, later. and a grand prize of $200,000. All right. So give it a shot. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Oh shit. My god. All right. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> Best fucking pizzas under one fucking roof, bitch. Yeah, the music's pretty awesome. Uh, let's start with Crash Warp. Down a little bit. There you go. Crash Bandit. See, I've never played this one. I've played the first Crash Bandicoot. Starting in a water level. I wonder if this game uses... Oh, it does use analog stick. Ah. I do like me some Crash Bandicoot. I did like the first one a lot. I just, I just never kept up with the series, you know. Oh, uh, watch out! Oh. And I actually looked up one time what a Bandicoot looked like, so I was like, "There's no way a creature could actually look like the way this thing looks." Bandicoot's not real. Oh, they're real. And they kind of... What? That shark just disappeared. They really did nail what a bandicoot looked like. <laughs> the pointy nose and everything. Pretty funny. Checkpoint! Is, it, is this... Is it only going to be... Is it only going to be underwater section? Because uh, if I had never played a Crash Bandicoot game, I'm going to think, oh, is the whole game under... What? 
What the? Die. Okay, this is a pretty cool little Scooby Dooby jet ski thing. Whoa! Water level? Did they re did the first two? No, I don't remember the first one having a water level. I don't know about the second one. Um, maybe this was like a novel idea for them. They're like, you like Crash Bandicoot? Well, then you love Crash Bandicoot in water. Oh jeez, I forgot Crash Bandicoot has no life bar. Not even like a Mario style life bar where like you get hit once, lose power. Freaking bandicoots. Oh, jeez. Oh! Guys, I suck at this game, guys. I was doing good. Maybe I should start using the analog. The analog's kind of screwing me up. I'll go back to using the D pad. Same. Over here. Oh, oh man. Okay, that was that was my fault. Got a little too overzealous there. Ah. I like how the sharks just they just straight up disappear. Ah, oh, come on. He's camouflaged. Did, did, did you guys see that pufferfish? Because I, sh I sure didn't until it was too late. Pufferfish. <laughs> Nature's chameleon. <laughs> How many lives do I have left? <laughs> okay, I have one life left. Am I going to die on this first demo? <laughs> Oh man, I'm terrible. Alright. I don't think this game is going to let me die. Alright, let's go. Crystal. Or whatever. Hey, got another life. All right. Oh, I almost got all of them. Ooh. Cool. 
So that was the demo for Crash Bandicoot. Now, if I had never played a Crash Bandicoot game before and I played that demo, I, I'd be like, is this, is this the game? But this was the third in a highly uh, popular series, so I'm sure it did confuse people. If I play that, I pop, I probably wouldn't have picked that up if I would have played that. Um, let's save Metal Gear for last. Let's go to Tomb Raider 3. Now again, I've only played, I only played the first Tomb Raider as well. So let's L2, the the roll action jump. Adventures of Laura Croft. 1998 Core Design Limited. Ah, oh, 1998. Woo! Can I turn on? Cool. Oh boy, let's let's use. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, can I? Ah. Oh boy. <laughs> These controls are terrible. Um, yeah. He, ah. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. They really have to start you, like, here? Can't they start me in, like, the middle of some action? Like, in medias res is, like, the best thing you can do in a game demo. You don't, you don't want your players to be, like, uh, what do I do? <laughs> and I'm crawling. No, that doesn't work. Wow, okay. This sure is exciting. This sure is an exciting demo, guys. I'm sure someone is going to watch this and be like, You freaking idiot! You, you freaking moron! You're supposed to do this! Look, man. I don't know. This game is not giving me anything. Okay, inventory, small med pack. Pause. Okay. Woo! Yeehaw! Well, I'm having fun flipping around, that's for sure. Now, if I can only play the game. How exciting. <laughs> oh, oh shit. How do I how do I attack? How do I attack? They left it open. Oh my god, these controls are freaking terrible! Oh my god. Oh my god. These tank controls. Why, why would they think putting tank controls in an action game would be a remotely good idea? Such a bad idea. Armory, that sounds good. Look, the guy's just like walking behind me. Ooh, guns. Cool, 
I've got guns now. And okay. <laughs> This is a terrible demo. Maybe I'm judge maybe I'm judging, but if I if I were to play that game, you only get one life. Oh my god. If I were to play this demo, I would not be excited about that game. I'd be more excited about Crash Bandicoot, because at least that was fun and playable. It's very medieval. I always wanted to play this game when it came out. I never uh never got the chance to. I I liked the I always liked the aesthetic of it. I've always let, like the design of the main character is really cool. I think I played the, the, the demo for this long ago, probably in 1998. Ooh, spooky gargoyles, Sir Dead Guy. Hmm. That's cool. Reminds me of Beetlejuice. Here lies Beetlejuice. Oh. The FMVs are nice. Why doesn't he have a jaw? Do I want to know why he doesn't jaw? Doesn't have a jaw? What if we find out why he doesn't have a jaw? Oh, shit. Dang. <laughs> He's a cobweb in his eye socket. <laughs> oh, he grins. Ooh, that's creepy. <laughs> Dan's crit. That's my name. Dan. Dan the Knight. Dan the Undead Knight. Okay. It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue, see? The hero of Gallomere who fell the, the hero, first I just... charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspired to turn the arrow fodder into the savior <laughs> of the day. But we know it's better. <laughs> we know it's better, don't you? I'll show you. Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarak and live up to the okay. legend. We hope it does well. That was pretty cool. Let's see if my analog works. Analog does work. Castlevania. Some Castlevania shit. Okay. Every time every time you walk in the game, it vibrates uh, it vibrates your controller. Only a little bit. It's kinda it's kinda charming. Star room, that's a Lovecraft shit. This game is awesome. Ugh. Copper shield. Oh. 
atmosphere is really awesome. Camera kind of sucks, but in 1998, 1998, almost all cameras sucked. <laughs> the graveyard. <laughs> The graveyard. Yes. Man, this definitely gives off a, go a ghouls and ghosts Castlevania get vibe. Look at the hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> little thing. Little Adam's Family references. Man, why didn't I play this game? <laughs> Look at that little hand. <laughs> That's too funny. Sluggy. Mm -hmm. ah. No, don't go don't there. Mm -hmm. The chaos room. You don't even need to kill those guys. Am I attacking him with my arm? Oh my god, I'm attacking him with my arm because I don't have a weapon. <laughs> oh man, that let out a really nerdy laugh. I'm smacking people with my arm. That is too funny. Oh, man. It's... Can't see where shit. Once you get into the shadows, you can't see anything. Oh, man. That's so funny. Ah. Red orbs do. I wonder. I like that they give you these areas that you can regenerate your health. Very nice. Very cool. We need to kill more zombies before you can collect the chalice. Okay, so kill more zombies. I can do that. 
die, zombies. Die. Okay, I get it. Ah. Come on, flankers. Oh, a zombie, yes. Come here. Stop running away. Zombie, 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 you're the zombie. And I kill some zombies. Killed all the zombies. Okay, so I killed all, enough zombies to fill the chalice or whatever. Ooh, copper shield. I went in the door, whatever that means. to kill enough bad guys to exit the level. Or maybe that was just that level. Cemetery. Help! Gates. Help! Whoa. Uh-oh. That's that guy from the beginning. So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy yes, pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Ah, oh, I see. Can be a dick about it. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna get to the top of that hill. I can make the camera stop being so lame. Sure wish I had another weapon other than my freaking arm. Whoa! What the hell was that? much. Ow. <laughs> we have failed the master. We give our lives. <laughs> we failed him. Let's kill ourselves. For reasons. Mm, tasty green stuff. Gonna get a boss fight in this demo? The Hilltop Mausoleum. I gotta say, this is a pretty sweet demo. I think this is gonna be a boss fight. Not. 
die uh, things. You're not really worth my time, bro. Ooh, I found the club. It's not gonna let me fight the boss. What a smart demo. Got me all wrapped up into it. Free roaming 3D environments that will strike fear into the bravest of players. Spectacular lighting effects. That is actually pretty good lighting effects from 1998, honestly. Challenge the powers of darkness. Beware, there's a variety of ghoulish enemies awaiting to taunt you. A jaw dropping production of magic. Gallantry and spooky adventures. Cool. So yeah, that was medieval. That was pretty sweet. That, that, that was my favorite demo so far on this. Gran Turismo. Never played a Gran Turismo game. Not big into like racing simulator games. But what the hell. Downship, upshift, accelerate, brake. Cool. That's all I need to know. There we go. That was weird. Uh, arcade mode. Not much else. Cool. Let's go raise. Normal. Ooh, ooh, they have the new dodge? Holy shit. Mitsubishi. Look, man, I don't know what any of these things mean. Let's get this one. Not available. Come on. Why even allow me to select it? Yeah, let's go to the available cards. This music's pretty cool. So I'm kind of coming at this at not a big racing simulator fan. So I'm going to try to be open-minded. This is apparently like a classic in the genre. So I usually like I like Mario Kart and Outrun, uh, cruising, stuff like that. I, li I like fun stuff. It play it plays really nice, honestly. Whoa. <laughs> It runs really smoothly. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Don't take my terrible playing as this game sucks because it actually. Uh, if someone behind the wheel or the controller who knew how to play, it'd probably be really impressive. But I gotta say, like this game looks like it's running at full 60 frames per second. The draw, like the draw distance, is pretty impressive. Honestly, and thirty-one miles an hour, bitch. So, can I like throw stuff at other racers and try to kill them? No, it's not this type of game. Third place, motherfuckers! Second place, motherfuckers! Oh shit! 
Ah! Oh, wait, this is an off-road rally. I'm not doing too bad, second place. Woo! Hey, thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the boost, man. That was awesome. Uh oh oh shit. Oh no. Aw oh, man, all the way back to sixth place. Bonkers. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm already so far behind, I ain't gonna win. Uh, yeah, I lost. Hey, that was pretty fun. The computer is doing better than me. So you can watch a replay, huh? Okay, the replay is pretty cool. It has like cinematic camera angles and stuff. Pretty cool for the time, for the genre. <laughs> like it matters, right? Nice BT. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and exit. That was fun though. I mean, for for the type of game that is. Now, circa '98. What was I? 14. Yeah, I was 14 at the time. I I wouldn't have picked that game up. I didn't pick it up then. I'm I'm not gonna pick it up now. For some reason, Gran Turismo totally messes up my... How do I exit? Cool. Yeah, for some reason, Gran Turismo really messed up my right there all right here it is just the greatest demo ever I'm kind of biased here because this is like my favorite game so and I haven't played this demo in such a long time oh my god Dang. it's been 18 years since I played this demo Alaska, the Bering Sea. I just gotta skip that because I will watch this entire thing. Uh, yeah, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. This blew my mind back then, and it's still totally awesome. clear what's the situation snake looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up just as i expected 
You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec. No, I'm not will talking. Beep. I have so much to talk about this that game noise, that there's really the no point. Button. It would have to be its own series. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. this entryway like the back of my anus uh oh I don't know my anus very well so what was that noise What was that noise? What was that noise? Hmm? Whose footprints are these? So this game, I mean, it's kind of an un understatement to say that this game kind of changed the direction of modern video games. I mean, a lot of games tried to be cinematic, um, but you can kind of blame Kojima on the, on the modern stigma of it has to have a cinematic flair to it. It has to resemble some type of cinematic work it has to you know it can't just be a game anymore so you can blame him okay so there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground you'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down you better hide know. somewhere i know i know colonel okay leave me alone So cool. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Huh? What the hell? Don't mind me. Just uh, hide behind this forklift. I think you get to play this next part too. If I remember correctly. Like I said, it's been like 18 years since I played this, so. You know. As a kid, I'm like, what? What does that mean? What, tactical espionage action. See, most demos would stop right there because that's such a great stopping point for a for a demo. But oh no, you get a second sneak scenario. It 
Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle mm, out popsicles. there. Popsicles. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship gun doing here? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship I'll try not to quote here? this entire game. I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering no, I'm me. serious. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next oh, 18 hours. Come on. Oh, come on. Snake. I can't believe you I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. I'm so glad. I heard, I'm so but, glad they changed uh, your I'm voice. Surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah, I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar Thanks. system. Thanks. You really don't need to do that, though. Okay, I know how to... Thanks. Thanks. Snake, you're redacted by the weather. But if you're discovered by an enemy, yep. you won't yep. be... Yep. It, gets jammed. it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. I'll give you a call if I get lonely. Blah blah. Seriously, I know this script. Like, since I can say this in my sleep. Huh? If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to <laughs> let me funny. in. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers, pineapples. Mm. I love pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second Colonel, floor. Colonel, what do ducks have to do with this? Quack. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Let's do it. See, and then the... <coughs> the widescreen bars fade away. Beautiful. Look at, like, the snow. It's just an awesome-looking game. A surveillance camera? camera? What the hell? I'm not going in there. I'm afraid of surveillance cameras. Huh? Oh no, there's a guy coming.
<laughs> yeah. Why not, you know? And he's back. <laughs> oh, snap. I thought this is where it ended, but... This is a long demo. I mean, I know exactly where to go, but... If I didn't know where exactly to go, this would be a really long demo. Oh, geez, that is so dark. Snake, this it's is totally McDonald Miller. McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. Campbell used to be, be his, uh, There's no one I'd rather his, have in a uh, fox second in command. You. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow. That's where they stay warm. Survival specialists Too hard for them. I should learn from them. But there's a dark side too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. I love Follow this game. The mice. <laughs> I'll probably do a playthrough of this game eventually, just because. I mean. Oh my god, it's so flippin' dark. I legitimately cannot see anything. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Like, wow. I've never... Can, can you guys see anything? Because, Jesus. It's kind of incredible how shitty this looks. See, the last time I played this was on a PS3, and it doesn't look this shitty. I guess it's kind of realistic, you know. You're gonna be crawling through. Uh, you're gonna be crawling through um, some vents. You're not gonna be able to see very well. But jeez, that's terrible. That's why they give you these little rats. Follow the rat snake. Rat patrol. Get it? I wonder where this demo ends. Could go explore, but I know it's out there, and there's no point. Huh? What the hell? Huh? Snake, use the freaking ladder. Duh. I can't see. Man, 
feel like I'm blind. It's like I'm in a air duct or something. Should be what? So confusing. These air ducts are so confusing. Is that a woman? Not him. It's not him. Hey, how's it going? There's a lot of cutscenes in this game. Which is funny because it initially got praised. And then initially got ba then it got bashed. I love it. Who's that? I mean no one else makes games that have you know, 45 minute long cutscenes. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, and I love right? it. You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? Well, it's a kind I'm of a, a I sneaking suit. To save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? I'm they totally really Donald Anderson. Launch a nuke. What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. <laughs> How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. The world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Gear. It can't be. You knew? <laughs> Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. Arms Tech. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warheads they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey, shut hey. up in there, will you? Shut up in there, will you? He was suspiciously able to send that guard away easily. Safety measures. 
Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you I'm at your pal, buddy. Yes, of course. There is a pal. It's set up so that you need to input not your buddy, guy. different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? Baker. President of Arms Tech. That's right. Baker's cousin. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But they found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis. One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. <laughs> Psychomantis. He has psychic powers. If you couldn't tell by his name. If they find out Baker's password. Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the I would launch. talk more, but these cutscenes are so that long key. and frequent. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay. Three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second, second floor, floor basement. basement. I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, Here. Take, this. take this card. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. Personal it area network, huh? Its own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data. I love that their heads just shake. The really, a really good idea to work around, like, not having any kind of facial devices, movement, you know what I mean? Like, because they couldn't do any kind of lip movement or anything in 1998. You crazy? Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm. I told you, I'm not your pal, buddy. Your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard? I just said no. Not your buddy. So does the White House Pal. have to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? The Pentagon? What is it? He dies mysteriously. What a mysterious death. Mm. Dead head. To be continued. Coming soon. Ah, what a great demo, man. Just gets you right into it. You're just like, intrigue. What? Alright guys, so that was the Pizza Powered PlayStation Giveaway PlayStation 1 Disc exclusive to Pizza Hut. That was pretty cool. Uh, the Tomb Raider 3 demo sucked. That game, that demo, the game demo was terrible. Uh, I, mean, I had a really good time with Medieval. Crash Bandicoot Warp was pretty fun. I wish they would have had more, uh, I wish they would have had more level types except just the water one but maybe like I said maybe they were being like hey you've seen you know you've played through one and two this one's a little different because it has a water level in it um, and that Metal Gear Solid demo classic and Gran Turismo was pretty fun it was pretty fun but yeah that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching um, 
this first episode of Disc Demo Theater. Um, but I have a little special thing to do before we leave. Um, I'm going to scratch and play for cash in a stash. Because I might win a pizza-powered PlayStation. Let's give this baby a scratch. So I have my lucky quarter here. Nice try. Send the game piece in for a second chance. Damn. Eh, well, it was worth a try. Wouldn't it have really been amazing if I would have won a pizza-powered PlayStation from 1998? Eh, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a beautiful day. What is it?